work, white linen, all black windows. I had to tint them that work, work. Put them in the dirt, let them all lurk. No, I had to get up with dirt. We never hurt, hurt. No, the deal. Tour sold out, so you know it's real. So after two pay-per-views, Ruckus has been on a roll. He's been on tear on main event. Bringing down kids with the BTR like it is his job. Beating Santita Morella. Bro, I mean, this is the reason why I'm getting sick and tired of being on main event. But that's, see, and that's where it comes. Triple H has gave me promotion. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on SmackDown. And I see you, Daniel Bryan. I see you. I don't see your face. I see that gold around your waist. That was awesome. I just made the sickest promo I could ever do. It was only like two seconds. But I get to face Bo Dallas. And I'm going to make him Bo leave. Let's go. Bo, it's been real. But it's time for the BTR. Night, night, Bo. Night, night. So with that being said, I get to face William Regal. So ladies and gentlemen, let's get on for the one last match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New Jersey, the Warlock Russ Briggs. In the ring from Blackpool, England, weighing 243 pounds, William Regal. So here it is, man. And this one should blow the, the match that no, nobody really cares about, besides us, me and William Regal. If you don't know about William Regal, Regal was one of the best technical wrestlers in professional wrestling today. Well, He's, he's done, but he's one of the best. He's up there. I'll never forget when I watched William Regal. It was an old old WCW Nitro show. And I remember, like, I was looking back at it. And it was him facing Goldberg. And Goldberg back then was having two-second matches. Literally a spear, jackhammer, and that was it. And it was, I believe, like, the first time he ever had a match to go like five minutes and it, it was just regal destroying him over technical wrestling like moving around like see this is where chain grappling is it was simple stuff like that where reversals were just going on point and Goldberg had no clue what the hell to do and it was hilarious now looking back at it because when I was a kid you don't know what's going on you think Goldberg oh Goldberg just Finding ways to get out. Like, no, because Regal, Regal is making him like a little bitch. And Regal had just, he had to make, I think it was like five minutes of him just reversing stuff and then getting hit with a spear. So literally it was just trying to help Goldberg look good, but Goldberg had no clue what to do. So it was funny right here. So I get a nice little clothesline. I love that clothesline, 2K. It's one of my favorite. It's still in professional wrestling. It's sick. Because if you see guys like, like Luke Harper coming at you with that clothesline, it is vicious. That close, he has one of the vicious clotheslines in WWE right now. That thing comes down like Thor's hammer to your chest and pretty much to your throat. But let's get on to the match, man. This is Regal's last match, and I'm, I'm not taking no remorse. I'm not giving him any offense. This is what happens when you step in the ring with Ruckus. You know what I'm saying? It's it's not gonna be pretty. You know, you could probably get one some one ups on me, a few jabs and and some moves, but the outcome's gonna be the same. Ruckus is gonna get his he's gonna pin you one, two, three, and we're gonna go outside here and get a backdrop right on the that solid apron. That's there's no padding there, man. That is pretty much straight wood. No padding, no even even personal wrestling rings like the WWE, there's no like no give. Aprons and rings in general have no give, so that's just a thud laying on Regal's back. And, you know, hey, this is what it is, man, but he gets a stow. Jake, if you're watching this, stow. I got you, pimp. But uh, <laughs> Regal's finding a little offense here. Hey, man, it is what it is. He's a legend. He knows how to pick your parts, but he hasn't he hasn't wrestled me. He hasn't wrestled ruckus. He doesn't know what I have. I have power. Uh, smarts. Okay? I have, I have stuff in my brain where I can... 
do stuff, and all I do is just beat the living crap out of you. That's simple as that. And I, I apologize, Regal, to, to end it like this to you. But it is what it is, man. It's just it's just business. You know this. Man, I know this. I gotta set you up. With the I don't if you guys can leave a comment, please. I wanna have a name for the kick, the setup kick. I like BTR bringing the ruckus or bring the ruckus. It's gonna happen to Regal. I apologize, Regal. It is what it is, man. Thank you for giving show me the ropes. Give me a spot at NXT. And I'm going to make you proud. But if you ever, ever go against me, it's going to be outcomes like this every single time. Ladies and gentlemen, Regal is officially done. Wrestling. Here is your winner, the Warlock, Russ Chris. He gets a big victory here tonight. Love it.